Today we are shooting a video that I have been working on for almost six months. In these two bags, we have four drones. We're gonna be shooting a video to teach you which drone does what and which one is right for you. In this bag, we have the Phantom 4 Pro, and in this bag, we have three drones. We have the Mavic Air, the Spark, and the new Mavic Pro 2. drone we're gonna to fly today is the DJI Spark. Now this is DJI's entry-level drone. Super simple, easiest setup. There actually is no setup, no propellers to put on or arms to fold out. You just basically pull it out, power it up, and you connect it to your controller through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth has a better connection. Connect it through that and you're good to go. No cables, no additional setup. Turn it on, connect, and fly. So the Spark remote is just the same as the Mavic or the Mavic Air. Pretty easy setup and when flying any of the drones, especially if you're just starting out, it's best to keep it in beginner mode. That will allow you to only fly so high and so far. Uh, some of these drones can go up to eight kilometers away. And Sammy, hey, get back here. And the DJI Spark, when you put in sport mode, it actually feels like a racer drone. It is super quick, very agile. However, you can't really feel well in sport mode because it's just way too shaky. The gimbal on the Spark is only a two axis gimbal as opposed to a three axis gimbal, like on the Mavic, the Phantom or the Mavic Air. So it's not quite as stable. So you gotta be a little bit more careful with your movement. So the DJI Spark is a great beginner drone. If you're interested in getting into droning, this is a good one to start with because one, the price point, it's like 500 bucks for the drone, another 200 for the remote. Once you get a couple extra batteries, you're in it for about a grand, which is probably the lowest price point you're gonna get into a DJI drone with. The other thing that's really great about the Spark is I've crashed this thing like five times and it's super durable. As a matter of fact, it's even got a crack. I cracked one of the arms here and it still flies perfect. We're now gonna fly the Mavic Air. This is the smaller, lighter version of the Mavic Pro, and it is the next step up in the DJ lineup of drones. This one is about a uh, thousand bucks for the drone. Again, plus accessories, fly more kit, whatnot, you're probably looking at 15, 1600. Uh, this one has a great camera on it. It has a three axis gimbal. Battery life is about 23 minutes, I believe. And again, super portable. This thing is tiny. It folds up to literally the size of my DSLR camera. This is another great drone. If, uh, if you're starting out, if you want to get into droning, uh, because it's so portable, you can pretty much bring it anywhere. feature that I like about the air is how you can manually land it doing a hand grab and don't try this at home kids until you've had some practice third time to try. Yeah. <laughs> well, after flying the air and the spark 
holding this controller, you realize just how heavy all this equipment is. And that's one of the biggest drawbacks to the Phantom 4 Pro is it requires its own backpack, which is difficult to deal with if you only like to travel carry-ons. Well then, one of your bags is going to be a drone and then your other bag might be camera gear or your clothing so usually when i fly with the phantom 4 pro i actually have to check a luggage because i just don't have any room for my clothes once i've got a bag full of camera gear that's a big drawback to the phantom 4 but the quality of the footage and the images as well the uh, flight stability the speed the battery life and the one inch sensor those are really big pluses to the phantom 4 pro <laughs> flies fast, it flies stable, and the image quality is just amazing. But again, the downside to it is just the size, the weight, like even the batteries, like these are like, I can use these as weights. So it's the size, the the weight, the setup, you know, it, it, takes, it takes some time to get it all together, break it down, you know, put it all away, and then you're carrying extra bags. So that's the real drawback to it. And even though I love the drone, I'm actually gonna be selling it because I just bought the Mavic Pro 2, which we're gonna fly next. And the reason I decided to get rid of this and invest in the new Mavic 2 is, you know, again, size, portability, and just being able to bring it with me anywhere. One other thing to mention, it's loud, but if you plan on flying somewhere really remote, you wanna capture some amazing landscape photography, this takes unbelievable photos. I have some amazing aerial landscape shots from this drone. And you know, if you're flying in windy circumstances or situations, I remember flying this thing in Mykonos and Ibiza and on those islands it can get very windy and the drone was super stable. So depending on what you're shooting, if you want high quality photos and if you're traveling and don't mind checking luggage and bring this as a carry-on, it's an amazing drone. All right, so the Mavic Pro 2 and the Mavic Pro Zoom are the drones that everybody's talking about right now. DJI once again innovates their awesome product and makes it even more amazing. So the features on the Mavic Pro 2 here, the new Hasselblad camera is unbelievable. Uh, DJI acquired Hasselblad and collaborated for over a year to make this camera. DJI claimed it's like having a DSLR quality camera on a drone in the air. And I've flown it a couple of times so far and I gotta say the image quality is unbelievable. A couple of other cool features it has, it's got these new propellers and motors and they claim to be 60% quieter than the original Mavic. The drone is just solid. You can tell that they've really rethought the design and re-engineered it to just make it slicker, sleeker, more aerodynamic, and just really solid. So let's get this one up in the air and show you just how great the Hasselblad camera is. Okay, so we're gonna do a sound check. Is the Mavic... All right, so we're going to check is the Mavic Pro 2 actually 60% quieter than the other drones? I'm gonna say maybe 30%. So some of the other upgrades on the Mavic Pro 2, it's faster. Uh, this one goes up to, I think it's 75 kilometers an hour, as well, battery life. They extended the battery life to 31 minutes now, so it's actually comparable to the Phantom 4 Pro 2 battery life. Another really cool feature they've added, which I'm sure will be available on all DJI drones soon, is they've added a hyperlapse feature. And if you don't know what a hyperlapse is, essentially it's a time lapse, which is a series of photos, whether two seconds or three seconds, five second intervals apart, but flying in the air while it's moving. So you get this really cool stop motion video from the air. All right, well that was it. Interesting getting all four drones in the air and comparing them and seeing what the benefits of each one are. And you know, one thing I wanna say is, I'm not a professional uh, drone expert. Uh, I'm a drone enthusiast. Uh, I've been droning for 
I guess almost three years now and I love it it's a, a great hobby and uh, these are just my opinions so take what you get from it uh, you know do your own research uh, I'm sure I did probably misquote some facts or information which I'll correct and put in the body of this video below and one thing I, I gotta stress to you uh, a couple of things is make sure you get insurance DJI offers their refresh package which allows you to replace two drones it's important um, because I've crashed two drones already and it sucks when you crash a drone so look into the DJI refresh when you get your drone and also make sure that you take it slow when you're flying don't fly around people don't fly somewhere where it might crash into a tree and drop and fall and hit some people because these propellers hurt make sure you put propeller guards on and just take it slow in the beginning fly in tripod mode fly in beginner mode get comfortable with it before you feel like you can really take it high and take it fast and happy droning it's an awesome hobby uh, it's something I highly suggest somebody try if you like remote control planes or cars if you like uh, videography photography it's it's an awesome hobby and adds a whole different element to your travels so Hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, please put them down below. And thanks for watching. All right.